I uh, ruptured Achilles, so. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Don't, it looks worse than it is. Oh. On, uh, on behalf of Tony James, our president of Blackstone and the Blackstone Charitable Foundation, it's my pleasure to join you today. Thanks to President Cruzado uh, and the trustees for having me here and to Commissioner Christian for the warm introduction. Uh, the turnout is amazing, but um, knowing Montana like I do, not actually that surprising. Um, and it's uh, just a testament to all the hard work that has already been put into the program. Um, and as we all know, what dad makes things happen and uh, she gets people excited. And, and I, for, on behalf of Blackstone, we are extremely enthusiastic about this pro project and the sight of all of these students confirms that what we already know about the entrepreneurial spirit of Montana. At Blackstone, you see before we make any investment, we do our diligence and we make sure we have a good management team or a good support system. In the case of the launch pad in Montana, the support of the governors, the governor, both senators, and the leadership of both universities has been tremendous, and we could not be more excited about its potential. When I graduated college, I didn't have anything like this program, but I did have a support system. My parents were a little apprehensive, to say the least, about agreeing to loan me the equivalent of a couple of months' rent to go to my Manhattan and make my way. Um, I moved to the city with two bags of clothes, no job, no prospects, slept on a buddy's couch for a bit, and just hit the pavement, um, got my resume in front of anyone I could. Um, a very entrepreneurial beginning, I would say. Um, a very non-traditional path by Wall Street standards, and uh, made all the more interesting as the day I, I moved to Manhattan, the Dow Jones Index dropped 500 points. <laughs> No lie, uh, business majors in the audience may have heard of long-term capital management. <laughs> the day I got to New York and I'm thinking, what the heck did I just do? I am never gonna get a job. Um, and things are tough today for new graduates as they were for, for me when I started. The labor participation rate in this country continues to decline. The underemployment rate, including among young people, remains the highest since the Great Depression. And this is why the Launchpad is so important and so relevant today. Entrepreneurship may be the most viable career path for a lot of people in this audience. Mm -hmm. um, and, but being an entrepreneur doesn't just mean launching an app or an internet startup. It could mean uh, starting a clothing business or a new construction business or manufacturing or technology or a thousand other things. At Blackstone, I have a pretty interesting job that lets me engage with many different companies every single week, and I get to talk to CEOs all of the time. And many of them uh, started the companies they run or started other businesses or bought and turned around a struggling business along the way. And, and in doing so, they created jobs and they created opportunities. And, and these people um, that have been through those, uh, those trials are among the most engaging, wise, and um, as the students here might like to hear, wealthy of the many CEOs I meet. I know many of their stories and, and the, the common thread is they all had help at some point. Um, but they probably never had anything, access to anything as unique as the launch pad um, in this truly transformative program. It's going to offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring, mentoring resources and a chance to learn the, from those who know the pitfalls of starting a business. It's going to offer guidance for our talented and driven young people to make the most of their ideas. And we can only imagine what the students here and in Helena are going to do with this, this added boost. I'm proud of my firm for this undertaking, and I can say from direct experience, there's no better place to do this in Mon than Montana. Its unique culture of hard work, determination, and ingenuity, I think, is going to help it set the pace for all of the launch pads around the country. Everyone I know in Montana is entrepreneurial in some way. Either they run their own company or a ranch, or they help somebody directly that does. Or maybe they work on a personal or family business outside of daily work hours or, or on the weekend. People, people here take joy in, in, in hard work. It's, it's, it's not a four-letter word, and they love helping others. And this spirit and camaraderie of its people are every bit as much of a resource as the natural beauty and wonder of Montana. And these attributes will serve the students and the program extremely well, and I wish them the best of luck. From all of us at Blackstone, I wanna say thank you, and I wanna say how excited we are to see what incredible businesses and opportunities you students create for yourselves and for others. Thank you very much. 
to introduce Robert Irizarry, an entrepreneur, angel investor, and founder of Startup Bozeman, has been selected to be the director of the MSU Blackstone Launchpad. Rob, please stand. Dynamo and Class A compulsivities. <laughs> That's true. Rob has nearly three decades of experience working with hardware and software technology in the finance, garment, and automotive industries. He moved to Montana in 1999 to join Right Now Technologies, where he served for 12 years, first as director of technical support and later as director of product management. Rob has also been involved in a variety of roles in multiple, multiple startups, including Code Montana, a statewide program that teaches computer programming to high school students, and Startup Bozeman, which works to promote Bozeman as a vibrant startup community. In addition, Rob has worked with, in the public and private sector around the world, has worked at MSU as an adjunct uh, instructor in the Jake Jabs College of Business and Entrepreneurship, and has served as an entrepreneur in residence in that same college. I see many students here today, and I invite all of you to step into the MSU Launchpad and tell your friends to step in too. Come in, ask questions, and discover how the Blackstone Launchpad can help you realize your potential and your dreams and all of you, as our distinguished guests today, are more than welcome in joining us as we open the doors and we cut the ribbon in just a minute. And now, to mark the official opening of our Blackstone Launchpad, I would like to invite the dignitaries that are with me here today, and let's proceed, and on the count of three, go cats. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's about collaboration. I know. But I can't stand that. <laughs> so if you feel that you have blue and gold running through your veins on the count of three at the top of your lungs, one, two, three. Oh, yes!